Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Since 2017, the United States Office of Naval Research, ONR, has allocated billions of dollars toward the advancement of next-generation naval weaponry, including the railgun. Few weapons across the globe match the railgun in terms of awe and potential destructiveness. A railgun employs electromagnetic force to propel projectiles at extraordinary speeds. These projectiles carry no explosives. Instead, they rely solely on velocity and mass to inflict damage. The impact power of a railgun round is determined by its speed and weight. Faster, heavier projectiles result in greater destruction. What makes railgun projectiles particularly formidable is the immense kinetic energy they carry, allowing them to pierce through armor and fortified defenses effectively. Nations such as the United States, the United Kingdom, and Japan view railguns as valuable tools for long-range bombardment, missile interception, and potentially anti-satellite warfare. There is also growing interest in utilizing railgun technology for space-related applications, such as satellite launches. Thanks to their high-velocity capabilities, railguns may offer a cost-effective solution for sending payloads into orbit. As one of the world's largest and most well-funded military powers, the United States has taken a leading role in railgun development. Given that these weapons can launch projectiles at speeds exceeding Mach 6, they provide a substantial increase in range and a faster time to target compared to traditional artillery. These attributes make railguns a key asset in both offensive and defensive military operations. In recent years, the U.S. military has collaborated with several companies to design and test railgun prototypes. A notable example is the prototype developed by BAE Systems, a British multinational specializing in defense and aerospace. BAE's railgun has already set performance records during testing, achieving groundbreaking projectile speeds and demonstrating its combat potential. Although still in the developmental phase, the U.S. believes such technology could transform naval warfare, enabling ships to strike enemy targets from extreme distances while defending against missiles, torpedoes, and aircraft. Some of the most remarkable railgun trials occurred in 2017 under the Office of Naval Research. During one such test, a full-scale electromagnetic railgun was connected to an array of batteries and tasked with launching projectiles over a range of 100 nautical miles. These experiments are critical, as railguns require precise engineering to ensure that electromagnetic forces are applied evenly. Any deviation can drastically affect accuracy and projectile trajectory. Naturally, like conventional firearms, railguns are influenced by environmental conditions such as wind, gravity, and air density. However, the extremely high speed of their projectiles minimizes these factors, especially over long distances.
Despite their advantages, the operational demands of railguns are one reason they have not yet been deployed aboard naval vessels. These weapons require vast amounts of energy to function. For instance, a full-scale railgun intended for shipboard use might need tens of megawatts of power. Capacitor banks are often used to store this energy, but the power supply must also be capable of recharging them quickly enough to support sustained firing. Since naval ships already have high power demands, integrating railguns could create more challenges than benefits. As a result, the United States has paused its railgun development efforts, redirecting focus toward alternative technologies like extended range missiles and directed energy weapons such as lasers. Among U.S. allies, Japan has also made notable progress in railgun technology. As a leader in numerous advanced technologies, Japan has integrated many into its defense strategies. Following World War II, Japan spent decades rebuilding its military strength. Today, the nation is a prominent Western ally and has transformed its Japan Self-Defense Forces JSDF into a highly modern and capable military force. While Japan's pacifist constitution restricts the JSDF to primarily defensive roles such as maritime and airspace protection and allied support, the military remains formidable. One of the key contributors to Japan's advanced military research is the Ground Systems Research Center GSRC part of the acquisition, technology, and logistics agency. The GSRC focuses on developing a wide range of defense technologies, including firearms, munitions, armored structures, vehicles, and personal combat gear. It also conducts research on protection against chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats. In recent years, the GSRC has spearheaded numerous high-tech projects, including electromagnetic railguns, EMP ammunition, multi-purpose munitions, air-cooled systems, foreign hub motors, autonomous vehicle technologies, and even exoskeletons for troops. Among these, one of the most significant innovations is advanced laser defense systems. These laser systems are particularly effective against drones and incoming threats and are already being adopted by several militaries. Japanese firms Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Kawasaki Heavy Industries are leading efforts in this field. 
Mitsubishi has developed a 10 kilowatt vehicle mounted laser system that has successfully destroyed drones at distances of 1.2 kilometers in outdoor testing. Kawasaki, on the other hand, is working on a 100 kilowatt laser platform designed for larger vehicles due to its higher power and cooling requirements. This laser system operates in the 1 micrometer wavelength range and uses infrared tracking to detect and lock onto drone targets in mere seconds. Such technology represents a shift from traditional missile-based defenses, offering a more sustainable and cost-efficient alternative, as lasers can fire as long as power is available, unlike costly interceptor missiles. Beyond railguns, the U.S. Navy also conducts live fire drills at the Dahlgren Division to assess new naval weaponry before deployment. On August 30, 2016, for example, a Mark 46 gun system was tested aboard the amphibious transport dock ship USS Green Bay LPD-20. This weapon can fire 200 rounds per minute and has a range exceeding two miles. The USS Zumwalt program initially included requirements for systems that could defeat fast-moving, highly agile surface threats. Among all U.S. Navy warships, only the Zumwalt-class destroyers have the potential electrical capacity to support an onboard railgun. This visually distinct, stealth-focused destroyer entered service in 2016. The USS Zumwalt measures 610 feet in length and 80 feet in width, and it can perform a variety of surface, undersea and aviation missions. On October 13, it marked a major milestone by successfully firing a standard missile. SM-2, using its MK-57 vertical launching system. Zumwalt-class ships are armed with an advanced gun system, two 30 mm cannons, and a suite of smaller weapons. But their primary firepower lies in the MK-57 vertical launch system. Unlike traditional centralized launch systems, the MK-57's distributed layout enhances ship survivability by spreading missile cells along the ship's perimeter. Originally, the Navy planned to construct 32 Zumwalt-class ships but halted production due to budget constraints. Only three remain in active service. Designed as a multi-role stealth platform, the Zumwalt's angular, unconventional shape reduces its radar signature. It also features an integrated power system that channels electricity from its gas turbines to power propulsion, sensors, and weapons. This flexible power grid is a major reason why it may one day host the first seaborne railgun. Currently, the ship is already equipped with numerous cutting-edge weapon systems.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.